Hello. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, how to create this pressed and embossed text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So we see how to do something like this. All right. So let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop, go to File, New, and then we just use the dimensions. You can use whatever you want, and it's okay. Now, I will just fill the background with this color. So, we we'll just click Alt Delete. Now, I will apply a blending option. So, we we'll just double click on the background, and we go to Inner Glow, and then we we'll choose Black. I will turn the opacity to color burn and I will choose for the search, I will choose center and then I will just make 100% for the nodes. Now I will reduce the opacity to 3%. Like so. Now we press OK. It will add a little bit of noise in the background as you can see. Okay, so. Now we just choose the type tool and then we just type pressed. We change the color to white and we just center it. And I will just you know like for the spacing I will make 25% for the space. Okay, now I will just go to fill and I will just turn down the fill to 0%. And for the text I'm using, I'm using this uh, dye poster black text. I will put the link in the description, you can download it from here. And now I will just double click to the text in here and I will choose drop shadow first. And then we just keep it. We we'll change it to normal. And then we we'll choose the white color. And then we we'll press OK. I will we'll keep the angle to 120, and I will choose the distance to one, and the size to two. And let me choose one, two. And for the opacity, I will choose 36%. Now I will choose inner shadow. I will put the blending mode to color burn. For the color, I will, I will keep it black, and I will choose for opacity. I will put 60% opacity. For the distance, I will choose 4 pixels, and for the size, I will choose 8 pixels. But you know this setting like it can be tweaked depend to the size of your text and the size of your image and also the color of your background. So I will choose now inner grow and I will to change the blending mode to inner burn. Now let me choose black color. And then for the size. I will put 4 pixels for the size and I will reduce the opacity to let me see 10 pixels. Like so. Now let we choose color overlay and I will choose uh, the color of the background in here. Which is okay and I will choose the, the blender mode to linear burn in here. To reduce the opacity to 60%. Like so. Now we choose a pattern overlay and I will put this pattern in the description. You can download it. I will scale it to 12 and I will change the blend mode to soft light. Now I will apply a gradient overlay. I will change the blend mode to overlay and I will reduce the opacity to 10% like so. Press OK. 
now we have our press layer press text first now I will type another text that we choose Smith type embossed like so just put it like this let me put the fill to 0% and I will double click to the layer and I will go to drop shadow that will choose I will keep it multiply and that will make the opacity 45% and that will keep it 120 in the angle for the distance I will change it to 2 and for the size I will keep it 5 pixels again like uh, for this setting it will change it depends to the text and the background you need like just to tweak that now for the bevel and emboss I will choose style to keep its inner bevel and for the depth I will choose 500 percent the size I will choose one pixel and soften I will choose six pixel like so as you can see for the highlight uh, I will just keep the mode to screen and I will reduce the opacity to 20% for the shadow mode I will keep it multiply and I will reduce the opacity to 14% like so okay now I will choose an inner glow And I will just keep it multiply. Now we change it to multiply. Sorry, and I will choose black color. So, and I will reduce the opacity to 20%. And for the shock, I will keep it 5. And I will for the size, and I will choose 5% shock. Like so, I will press OK. Now I will make a duplicate for this emboss. Just drag it in this icon in here to make a duplicate. Now I'll just tweak this setting in here. I will go to the emboss and I will choose the soften to zero, the depth to zero, and for the for the highlights and shadow, I will keep it screen. And I will choose 35% highlight and shadow. I will keep it black and I will just keep it 40%. Now for the inner glow, we will change it to screen like so, and I will choose white color. We will reduce the opacity to 10%, and for the shock and size, I will just choose size 3 so to 0 now for the drop shadow I will uncheck the global light and I will choose 135 for the global light and I will just make it 50% and distance to and the size I will just put 4 Let me change the river and the emboss like so. I will press OK. As you can see it already looks embossed in here. Now I will just uh, duplicate this one in here too, and I will just you know delete the layer side like so, and I will double click on it, and I will go to create. Now we go to the pattern overlay and then we choose uh, again we choose 12 for the scale and then we choose overlay so just reduce the opacity to 80 
and then we click OK. Now we're gonna do our right click to this FX in here, right click and then we choose create layer. Now I will make a layer mask to this embossed layer in here and I will just control and one click to the text in here and I will go to select modify feather and I will choose 6 pixel click ok and I will go back to select modify and I will choose contract and I will choose 8 pixel like so now I will just press shift control I to reverse the selection and I will just change the color to black and I will delete So, now I will double click to this one in here and then we choose color overlay and then we choose the color of the background again and then we change the blend mode to linear burn and I will just put 16 like so and there you go just a nice like style to add for the embossed style now like if you want like to make like, a vignette like just select circle in here and we'll just draw a vignette like a circle in here that's a circle but and i will go again to select and i will choose Feather, and then we just choose uh, 100 pixel, and we just press Shift Control I to reverse, and then we choose levels. Now I will just drag this one in here to 0 0.70 like so, and for this one I will just make it 0.30. 230 like so. as you can see it's at a really nice linear to it and there you go so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you and don't forget to subscribe and comment have a nice day